slept out in the yard last night in my Ridge Runner hammock to try out my new torso length Lynx underquilt. I was particularly curious about how it would feel compared to my full length. This is a 20 degree uh, underquilt and it got down to just a little below freezing last night. Where the underquilt was uh, covering me, I was fine. But you can see the underquilt comes down to right about where the backs of my knees are. And below that, uh, my calves did have some cold spots on the back of them. My feet stayed okay, but the backs of my legs did get a little bit cold below my knees. The advantage of the shorter underquilt and why I got it is it packs down so much smaller in my pack. I'll have a lot less bulk in there. Here you see the underquilt with the hammock flipped over. Super simple to attach. Brandon from Warbon it has a video on it. Got this beaner, goes through the loop here where the hammock attaches to the dog bone. Got a little rubber loop here to provide some stretch. And then you've got mule tape or grow gain down to the underquilt itself. It's getting dark, just getting set up. I'm going to try out my 20 degree War Bonnet Lynx underquilt. It's going to be a low of about 21 tonight, so this is just about perfect. Shake it out so the baffles are horizontal. It should loft up in about 10 minutes. Warbonnet logo goes at the head end of the hammock. There we go. Link's under quilt, 20 degree. It's going down to about 20 degrees tonight. See if it keeps you warm. That'll be my home for the night. The Yuko candle lantern there keeping me company. 20 degree hammock gear top quilt. The torso length Warbonnet Link's under quilt underneath. This is the first torso length or partial under quilt that I've gotten. I've always gotten the full length before because I've been worried about my feet getting cold. And the backs of my legs. I'm going to give it a real try out here. Tonight for dinner. Trail Topia beef stew. Let's take a look at our Trail Topia beef stew. We had 10 minutes of steeping. Well, looks like beef stew. A little skeptical of the one and a quarter cups of water they said to put in there but it's actually looking pretty thick and nice tastes like beef stew nice and hot good choice on a cold night trail topia beef stew big chunks of beef carrot bean pea corn all this stuff that goes into a good beef stew it's got a nice texture it's got a nice mouthfeel rehydrated really nicely started to snow so i didn't want to sit out by the fire anymore get myself all wet so i'm under the tarp in the hammock not much to do here but bundle up stay warm and i got down to about 20 degrees i wasn't frigid but it wasn't exactly as warm as i like to be either ended up sticking a couple hand warmers in my socks to keep my feet warm and yes i did have a foam pad underneath my feet uh, right from the start and later on you know I started to get a little bit of a frozen butt syndrome so I stuck a foam pad under my butt that also seemed to help you can see patches on the tarp where the snow didn't slide all the way off it's pretty out here I gotta get my hand in and get it warmed up there's the view from the hammock now I need to get up and get moving so I can get out of here before the snow plow plows me in any more than it has <laughs>